guys welcome back to my channel to all my new subscribers welcome and give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you guys can know every time i post a video um and then also um i subscribe button but hit the notification bell <laughs> but today this is everything that i'll be using in today's video well i thought what's going on i didn't use everything on this video i ain't gonna even lie to y'all i did not use everything i was just doing something <laughs> whatever just flowed through my mind that's what i did so but without further ado let's get started on this video hey you guys so i'm gonna go in with the nail extension gel by mccart and cake now this do kind of have like a shimmer color to it um so you could use a nude that's similar to this or just use the same nude that i'm using so i'm gonna just make put a long strip right down the foam okay and no, I did not put this in hot water like I was supposed to, like my previous subscriber had kept telling me to do. I'm hard-headed, y'all. I didn't do it, okay? I did not do it. So I'm over there. I was over there struggling, okay? So we're just going to start pushing it forward towards the cuticle without touching the cuticle. And I'm going to start flattening it out so it can spread out evenly. And then you guys are going to see me go back and forth between cleaning the sides and everything like that. Now, something to keep my, I don't know if I said this to you guys previously, but I'm going to say it again. Um, one thing that helped me keep my um, taper square nails is I don't put the poly gel over the whole side as you guys probably have seen me do because i eventually start fouling it down anyway um so i usually like push that up so it's like half of the nail is still showing um so i can foul that down to evenly spread out once i'm finished but i'm gonna stop talking because y'all know i'll be talking too much <laughs> and i'm just gonna go ahead and play some music so you guys can enjoy the process here <laughs>
Uh, what I like to do right here is because body cuticle is too flat for me. I like a little bit of a thicker A pack. Um, so I just put a little bit by the cuticle and I want to press that close to the cuticle, but not touching the cuticle. Um, and again, you got to make sure this stuff is very important because you don't want any lifting because of the oil and everything that your hands produce that breaks down whatever it is. That's what I was told y'all. I'm not no nail specialist, but that's why I just heard from different techs. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to start spreading that into the poly gel. I'm lightly doing that. I'm not really putting as much force once I go towards the end of it, um, because I want that to evenly look smooth going on there. So I'm going to stop talking again and then play some music so you guys can see what I do. Um, right here i'm going to do the same thing on this nail y'all just bring it all the way down i'm struggling <laughs> i was struggling it wasn't even funny y'all should have heard my sound effect i was like <laughs> it was stressful but yeah i'm just going to start packing this in um again starting at the cuticle without touching the cuticle and then i'm gonna start spreading it forward just to flatten it out and again don't go all the way down to the side so i'm gonna let that play out and then you guys can see this transition. Um, I'm going to do the rest of uh, stuff in the middle finger. I'm going to do the other two nails off camera. If you run with me, I got a word for the both of us. I'll put you in the driver's seat. Don't got a hurry in the middle of When you ride with me, got a worry when tomorrow comes. I'll put you in the driver's seat. Okay, you guys, so I want to use the poly gel that I got from Tumen. I did spruce that all the way forward just to let you guys know this is just what you get in that tube. I just want to test out this poly gel. You guys know I'm going to be testing out a lot of Tumen products that I, I'm not saying it right. Is it Tumu or Tumen? Tum, Correct me in the comments if I'm saying that name wrong, y'all. <laughs> But anyways, um, I'm just going to put that in. I will let you know this is there. It's not like solid. It's very soft. So you do kind of have to move quickly with this poly gel. That's what I noticed because it'll just start spreading. So you'll kind of see me going back and forth cleaning up the cuticle with this poly gel. I really have to be very quick with doing this because I'm like, oh, this is a runny poly gel. Um, it's not a bad color. Um, it is kind of like sheer a little bit, but it's not too sheer was it's just like oh you just see clear but i actually not the color not bad for me um the poly gel consistency is not for my taste personally because i that's why i really like macar poly gel because they sit there and let you mold them um to where you need them to be most of me keep having to go back and forth to clean up but i will recommend if you're a beginner with poly gel i will not recommend getting that product right now until you're used to working with poly gel you can move a little quick 
quickly like I can a little bit since I'm so used to working with poly gel. Um, but I did notice after curing the nail, which I don't, I don't know if it showed in the video or not, it did dry like white streaks on it. Um, but it was fine after I buffed it out and put, you know, top coat on her, but I, it, it didn't, I didn't like that, but hey, it is what it is. It's still not a bag. It's a pretty color to me. I do like the color. Um, would I wear that on me personally? No, because it's not really flattering to my skin complexion in my opinion. But it's not a bad color. So I'm going to stop talking. And then I'm going to let you guys watch me struggle <laughs> trying to get this poly gel together. Okay, you guys. So I'm just taking some alcohol and using these wipes that I got from Two Men. I do love them. They are a fave. And I'm just wiping off the tacky layer so I won't mess up my nail file. And then we're going to start fouling, hand fouling these nails. Okay, you guys. So these are how they look without being foul or anything like that. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and take my 80 by 80 nail file. This is about to be done with. So this is going in the trash, but it's still got a good little wear and tear to it, you know. Um, so I'm just going to start fouling out these nails. I'm going to go underneath the nail. You see what I was talking about with the clear part? I don't put the poly gel all the way down there. This will just work for me. I recommend trying it. You, you guys will see what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to start fouling these nails, play some music so you guys can see what I do. Okay, you guys, so I'm taking my Melody Susie nail drill and I'm using an 80 by 80 setting bit. I'm going to put that on number six and keep that going forward. And then I'm just going to start drilling my nails. Let me scoot, scoot you guys back just a little bit. Um, drill my nails just a little bit here just to make it a little bit more smoother and get it how the way I like it. And yes, I do go on the, the nail just to kind of give it back that C curve, but it's not really a C curve. I really don't like C curve nail tips. I don't like them. I have so many of them and I don't like them. I would try, I would actually do a video um, for people that like C curve nails. I'm just not a fan. Um, I just like one with my C curve just a little bit, but just the C curve would be too dramatic for me, y'all. I don't know. It's just like, why you have to be so C like that? If that makes sense. It didn't make sense, but I, it made sense to me. Okay. But yeah, I'm just gonna drill this down and then I'm I'm gonna stop talking. Y'all not know be talking too much. <laughs> then I'm gonna play some music.
Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna take this bro um bit just so I can um what I'm trying to say with my cuticle. What is it called? Oh, I'm so lost for word. My train of thought just disappeared. That's that brain fall from COVID, I swear. Um, so I can feel the cuticle. Oh, God, I could I could not think of that. So I'm gonna seal the cuticles and I'm not just gonna do it that much because I did a little bit by the sanding bit, so I just wanna make sure just keep that um that nice a pack and just go very lightly with this in a bit it's very strong um so you don't have to put force on there because it really just do what it's supposed to do you, you, cause I only want you yeah cause I only want you yeah cause I only want you baby yeah I only want you So what I'm doing here is I'm just going to take these little uh, wank use buffers. <laughs> I just use these just to get my weight so I don't have to use my um, more expensive bus buffer. Well, they're not expensive, but they cost more. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and buff these nails out. And once I'm finished, and then we'll start finishing up everything else that I plan on doing with the nails. All right, you guys. So I'm going to go in with my MAC coat. Um, this is running a little bit low. I didn't notice that at that time. And I just got these rings on from two men, you know. I eventually did take them off. I'm like, oh, I still have to wear my nails. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm going to put them back on. And then so we can see, like, the finished products and stuff like that. Um, so I'm just going to put these all over the nail and cure these for 60 seconds. I am using the one by Beatles. Okay, you guys. So I am going to go in with these Model 1s polish in the number 0680. Um, it's a pretty cute brown color, like a chocolate brown color. So I'm just going to put it on my little dish there that I got from Shein. Of course, it's a butterfly because you guys know I like, I love butterflies. So I'm just going to start <laughs> doing some designs. I really didn't know what I was doing <laughs> or what I was planning on doing. I just started honestly freeballing y'all because <laughs> I just did not have any idea on what I want to do. So I'm going to let this play out. You guys can watch me just do whatever I was doing.
Alright you guys, so I'm going to go in with these Chanel logos. Um, I'm using that strip right there because I do want that going down the middle of my index finger. Um, I did get these from iGel Beauty a long time ago. I just haven't <laughs> used this one, I don't think. Um, at that time, they be having sales when it comes to their nail stickers and their nail foils and nail charms. They had like stickers, dollar. Everything was a dollar. Like I had, I got like 20 stickers for $20. <laughs> literally so 
I would recommend shopping on IGW. They always have some type of sale going on, and like they, it be lit on their website, okay? And they polishes are really good. I have like um four polishes from them. Well, actually, te- no, technically three. Um, they be going on sale with a lot of stuff, y'all. So I'm just gonna get some scissors here just to clip it off just a little bit here, and then I'm going to start putting on. I believe the rhinestones. But yeah, I'm just going to let you guys watch me and I'm just going to stop talking. use this nail charm that i got from Tillman. check out my last nail haul i did everything on that video showing you guys everything that i got so don't forget to go ahead and check that out um now i never use like pointy or non-flat back charms like <laughs> i was a confused the placement i was just like uh this is my first time ever doing this and trying to like decorate around it so sorry you guys part of my video like was not recording for like the rest of the decoration that i put on with the nail charm i'm sorry y'all like it just <laughs> but this is the finished look okay i'm sorry i'll try to make sure that my camera is recording or hit record i'm like oh i'm not at this in here but tell me you guys what you think do you like it is it too much constructive criticism is always welcome but don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and leave your comment down below because you guys know I love talking to you. Um, again, these rings are from Two Men. Check out my last nail haul. I did add those in there as well. But without further ado, I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.